Welcome to the match day vlog. Welcome to St Andrews. Southampton are here to take on Birmingham City today. Score prediction? 2-1 uh, Saints. Big game for Saints today. It's a must-win game, isn't it? Yeah, I think we can't drop any more points to the top two, two other teams like Leeds and Ipswich, so we've got to, be, we've got to beat them. We have to win today. Um, let's talk about the, the last week. We're out the cup in the week. Are you fussed about going out the FA Cup this week? Let's focus on the league more. Just get promotion and go back up. It is now 12 cup finals for Southampton, isn't it? Um, we've got more than enough to do it. Manager's done a great job so far, hasn't he? Um, he will rally the troops when he and he's got Flynn Downs fit today. Yeah, I think I think Flynn Downs will start on the bench. I think he'll come on in like the 80th minute, but we need him in our team. He's the strongest player. Yeah, no, I totally agree with you as well. I also want to talk about one thing that's been hot topic this week. Will Smallbone took a lot of abuse on uh, social media. Totally, totally uncalled for. Um, social media is a cruel place at times, isn't it? Um, Russell Martin said that. You don't, people don't take account for it, do they? You can just get away, say what you want, hide behind keyboards. Yeah. It's pretty awful, really. I think there's no need, there's no need for it. Will Smallbone's a player at the end of the day, and they all have their bad games. He's one of our own. Yeah, he's, he's one of our own, yeah. No, thank you very much, mate. I really appreciate you coming on. Sam, welcome to my match day vlog. Thank you very can much. we get a score prediction? Saints at Birmingham City today. So we're going to say 3 1 to the Saints. Goal scorers. Uh, two for Adam Armstrong, one for Stu. Yeah, we'll be nice. Need to get back to winning ways now, don't we? We do, yeah, definitely. Really important. Uh, it's been a tough couple of weeks, hasn't it? Flynn Downs is in the side. We've just seen the lineup. Jack Stevens comes in at right back, um, otherwise unchanged. I think Downs coming back is a massive win for us, and uh, hopefully uh, Stevens' as captain is going to lead us uh, big three points today. And one thing I want to touch upon before we go: um, Will Smallbone this week yeah. took some really, really harsh, horrible criticism on social media. He's been a great player for our football club, hasn't he? Yeah. Great human being. Really, really bad what was said this week on Twitter, but he's got all our backing, hasn't he? We all fully support Will Smallbone. It's one yeah. person in a huge fan base. Yeah, hopefully he can bounce back today and put in a good shift, but obviously he's come through the ranks and uh, he's a special player for us. He is. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Welcome back to my match day vlog. Just bumped into you here at St Andrews. Good to be here. Yeah, it's always nice to be here. Another away day. Nice to take another ground off. And it's a big game today, isn't it? Massive game. Need to get back to winning ways. We've lost three and four now. What's your thoughts been on the last couple of weeks? Yeah, definitely it's not been great, but I think the time in the championship it is, there's usually, I mean, there's usually time when really weird score lines come up. Like we said, with Millwall team to the bottom, usually being one near the top. I think when I left where I was just before I came here, I think Huddersfield was still being Leeds, so I think it's happens to one everyone. 1-1 one now. Yeah. Oh, it is 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Uh, and the time of recording, yeah, Leeds <laughs> yeah. 1, Huddersfield 1. Well, it's at Huddersfield. But. Uh, OK, well, yeah, that's a shame. But I think there's going to be at least one or two, not just for us, I think for Leeds, Ipswich and Leicester as well, one or two odd results. Twists and turns, yeah, 12 definitely. cup finals. Yeah, definitely we can't kind of afford to take any game for granted. I think they're all going to be quite tough, no matter who we play, because I think we've got some some teams in and around mid-table, like Cardiff, places like that. St again, Stoke near the bottom, and obviously the, the three tough ones that we've seen away to all the teams in and around us. It's a massive week. We've got three three games now in seven days. Birmingham today, Preston Wednesday at St Mary's, and then it finishes off at, with Sunderland next week. Then it's 20 days rest, 20 days recovery. That 20 days will be pretty key, but we need to get through this next week. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, it's all nice saying we need X, X, Y and Z from these games, but it's dependent on the, what everyone else gets. Again, we really need to keep pace with Ipswich and Leeds, so if they get nine points, we need nine points. There's no real room for uh, error anymore. No, there's not any room for error. Team looks good today. Jack Stevens comes in at right back. Um, Flynn Downs is fit. Yeah, Flynn Downs has probably been one of our best players throughout the season and you can really tell the difference obviously in the games that we've lost when he's not been in. You can, you can see the gap he leaves quite clearly, so hopefully he'll come back straight back. Obviously, he's kind of had a bit of a prolonged recovery period where they're kind of easing him back in, so hopefully that'll be the right decision. No, definitely. Score prediction for the game? I think 2-0 win. 2-0 win. Goal scores? 
Che Adams back at Birmingham and Adam Armstrong. Love it. Thank you very much indeed. Half time at St Andrews. I'm with Mike from Match Day Vlogs. Go and give Mike a subscribe. Links will be in the comments box below. Mike, what were your thoughts on that first half performance by Southampton? Went 1 0 down very early on. Yeah, it's a slow start, wasn't it? And, um, you know, we, we've seen that kind of performance a few times where we've not been at it from the off and, and we've been caught out. It's, it's really disappointing to concede two goals in the first half again. We've really got to stop doing that because it just makes our, our job so much harder. Such a soppy start, but we did respond really quickly. Adam Armstrong back on the score sheet, back in the side today. We've hit the ball boat three times as well. Yeah, you kind of got a feeling that more goals are coming, um, but we've just got to keep tight at the back. But Birmingham are playing so direct. I mean, they've got our cards to a certain extent. You know, they're flooding, flooding the back row and uh, going direct. So it's kind of our kryptonite, really, isn't it? Tony Mowbray knows Southampton. He was the manager of Sunderland, wasn't he? Early on in the season, uh, early on in the season, he knows how we play. Um, they're definitely, they're definitely uh, sussed us out slightly. Yeah, they have, but you know, there's 45 minutes of football left. I mean, I, I do hope that Russell Martin has, has basically installed some kind of vision to break that down because, you know, we've got to score goals and uh, we've got to stop conceding them. No, we do. Um, what's your final score prediction for the game, Mike? I'm going to go with you now because I wish you went with a 3-1. Um, but I'm going to I'm going to go for a 3-2. Um, but we, we've got to keep it tight at the back. 3-2 would be nice. We, we've got loads of options off the bench as well, haven't we? Silamana, Adozi, uh, he's blessed with options. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I'm not sure I'd necessarily make any kind of changes up front, so to speak. But um, but who knows, at the 60-minute mark and we're still not back in it, then I guess we'll have to. Quick touch upon Will Smallbone. He's had a really good first half, hasn't he? Yeah. Took a lot of horrible criticism in the week. Really un- unkind and nasty comments made about him. But he's a wonderful player, isn't he? Part of our academy. He's one of us. He is. I mean, I mean no one was uh, more disappointed than the rest of the Saints fan base in terms of those comments. I mean, it, it annoys me that Russell Martin had to say something about it. You know, it's great that he did, but the fact that we have to acknowledge idiots like that yeah. in terms of the fan base it's, speaking out like it's it. It's one person in a massive, yeah. massive fan base. Yeah, it, it is, it is. And certainly the Saints fan base are fully behind Will Smallbone. And Russell Martin rightly said, you know, don't blame Will, blame me. I'm putting him out of position, playing him in areas where, you know, perhaps he'll be making some mistakes. So, um, so yeah, no, it's good to see Russell Martin do that. Right, thank you very much.
Charlie's back. How are you doing, Charlie? I'm all right, what a win, Southampton yeah. 4. Premier T3, what a win. win. Yeah, it was a great win. Battle to the end. You could see a few goals, but battle to the end, it kept on going. 96th minute, and Joe Aribo pops up yeah. with a winner. Oh, he's brilliant. He's come on so much, and we've missed him from AFCON, and yeah. I think he's been brilliant since he's come back. It was just an end to end game, wasn't it? Did you think we were going to go and win it? Or they went down to 10 men and they pulled one back and made it 3 3. Did you think we could do it? Uh, yeah, I thought we could do it. I knew we'd have a goal in us, but it was a matter of time when, because the clock was ticking, so it had to come soon. And we had to win. Leeds dropped points today. Leicester City dropped points. Obviously, Ipswich won, but Saints had to win. Oh, huge win. The teams above us dropping points, and we've like got three. It's massive, absolutely massive. Charlie, who's your man of the match? My man of the match, David Brooks. He was, he was class. Let's, let's have a massive shout out for Will Smallbow. He sets up two today. Yes. He was unbelievable. Wasn't he? Yeah, especially like the abuse he's been getting, and he's come back, and he's got the fans have got behind him. It's brilliant. This could really kick us on now. Two more big games this week. Yeah. Preston at St Mary's Tuesday night and then we got Sunderland. Uh, Sunderland. Yeah, it's Next of... week at St Mary's. How big is this week? Oh, it's huge. No, no easy games from here to the end of the season. Got to go straight at it and fight for the autos. We, we said 12 cup finals before today. It's 11. It's a big three points on the board. Yeah, massive. Massive. Charlie, thank you. Ethan's with me. Make sure you subscribe to Ethan. I'm going to leave a little link in the box below. Subscribe to your Match Day vlogs. You do some great vlogging. Talk to me about today's game. Southampton win 4-3. What a result for Saints. Joe Rebo, 96th minute winner for the Saints. I'm speechless, to be honest. It, it's like Millwall all over again. Oh, I can't even speak. Joe Rebo, phenomenal when he came on in that second half. It's just, I, I, I can't speak. Yeah. I'm that. David Brooks with a really good goal. He was class today. Will Smallbone sets two up. Difficult week for him, but how pleased we were for Will Smallbone this afternoon. I thought he was brilliant today. I thought this was one of his best games in his Saints shirt. The way the players tried to bring him over to the fans, give us a little fist bump. It's what he needs. He needs something to boost his confidence up. And that is, he's, he's left it on the pitch today. He was phenomenal. One, I think my man of the match, to be honest. Yeah, no, it was for me. Ethan, we're going at half time 2 1 down. Did you see us going on and winning the game? Personally, at first, no, I did not. Um, we looked really, we looked lacklustrous in the first half. Um, we looked so susceptible to letting goals in at the moment. Yeah. One thing though is we do need to. It is very scary when you go round the back with the Bazunu to a whole Bellis. I still feel like it gets like feel sick in my stomach. Yeah, we just don't move oh, it yeah. forward quick enough. Sometimes you're a bit sluggish for the. We just didn't switch on to start the game, did we? First five minutes, yeah. totally asleep. And their second goal was so lucky. It was just Benderak's mistake, header, boom, yeah. sent Stansfield through. And I thought it was a clinical finish from Stansfield. Really good finish and composed. Ethan, talk to me about these fans here today. They were unbelievable. The Southampton fans here today. For anybody that wasn't here today, the atmosphere was incredible. The Saints fans were amazing. However, I must say the Birmingham fans, I did like the pies being chucked, the drinks being thrown. Yeah, it's not ideal. There was fans above us. Yeah. There was home fans above us. There was throwing stuff on the Saints fans. There's the no need for the that. stewards didn't do anything, did they? No, there's no need for that. But Saints fans were incredible. Um, my voice is going. I'm just speechless. Leeds dropped points today. They dropped two points. Leicester dropped three. They've lost to QPR this afternoon. Massive defeat for them. Saints are winners today. Close the gap. Um, it's which have won, though, but... Happy days for us. A massive week. Yeah, massive week. Bush it boosts our uh, promotion chances even more. Just need to keep it up on Wednesday against Preston. Massive week now. Two big home games and then we get 20 days break. Yeah, 20 days break. That's massive. You've got Carl Walker-Peters coming back from injury. It, that three-week break is crucial for us. We'll be able to bring everyone back and, yeah, quality. Massive. Ethan, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Charlie, how old are you? 
Seven, eight. So you're eight. Is this your first away day? No. You've been to a few away days. How good was this away day? Very good. Southampton, they win today with a massive win, 4-3. Joe Arebo gets a 96th minute winner. How did you feel when that goal went in? Very good. Were you buzzing? Yes. Did your family all go crazy? They're all there, stood there yes. watching. Yes. Good moments, all it. Do you think Southampton and Russell Martin's men can now go on and get automatic promotion back to the Premier League? Yes. It was a great day out, wasn't it? What was your favourite moment today? When a Rebo scored. It was a great goal, wasn't it? What a legend. Mate, thank you very much for coming on today. Got some Birmingham reaction now. Spyro is with me. Make sure you give Spyro a follow. Thank you. I'll leave his uh, link in the comments thank box you below. Go give you a follow. Um, Birmingham content, superb, mate. What do you Thank think you. of today's game? Um, it I'm, was end to end, wasn't it? I'm absolutely gutted, man. I'm I'm so upset about that result. Obviously, you guys are cheering. You guys are happy. I can see the Southampton fans walking out all uh, happy, and but oh, I'm sad. Uh, I it feel took like, a 96th minute winner from Joe Rebo to, to know, snatch it. Uh, it. It was like we scored first, second minute, then you scored, then we got two one, but then we. Uh, that red card? I don't think that was a red card. I think that was so so harsh. But um, even at 10 men, you hung in there. You, you, thought, in you, there? you thought Southampton would go on and win the game, but they didn't. You go and score. Before and to the end, yeah. But um, just wasn't enough. I reckon if we had 11 men on that pitch, we probably could have got a result. But um, yeah, my, make sure you subscribe to uh, this channel. He's out Thank there. You. He's a, we're, we're very good friends on yeah, uh, we, we're first fr time meeting. Friends on TikTok. Make sure you give Spyro Birmingham a follow Thank on you. TikTok as well. Top, top TikToker. There's another TikToker in there as well, actually, just down below us. Not sure who it was, but it was... Uh, it was some good banter back and forth. Oh, was it? <laughs> I FaceTimed him in the ground and I was like, oh, hello, Martin. But, um, What's your aspirations for the rest of the season for Birmingham now? Um, okay. Obviously, obviously, the manager's not around at the moment, Tony, Tony Mowbray. Yeah. Uh, big miss him not being around, I guess. And you just yeah. wish him all the best, getting be better, don't you? Yeah, well, first, first and foremost, get well soon, Gaffer. We want you back. I hope everything goes well. Um, considering where we are on the table, uh, we've got to pick up some points. Hopefully, we, we should have got three points here. Uh, to, in order for us to um, survive but I think this season now we just got to focus on um, not going close to that relegation battle trying to just get out of it and um, next season hopefully progress and get mid-table then get playoffs Spyro talk to me about Southampton what, what were your thoughts on, on Southampton today? Um, you guys you guys are good but I think we were right, good at I think um, Southampton, uh, the fans as well, very good limbs when you scored. Yeah. Uh, there were some unbelievable limbs. It was so sad to see Shea Adams score, but respect to him, he didn't celebrate. He yeah. used to play for us a few, few years ago. Respect to him. You guys actually played well. Uh, I think both teams are very good football. Uh, but, yeah, I, I just wish Birmingham got the result. <laughs> Spyro, thank you very much indeed. No, thank you.